books made of paper? So last century. More and more people are doing their reading on an electronic reader. You can get them in black and white, in color, with backlit screens, and some even come with a keyboard. So how do you know which ebook reader is right for you? Consumer Reports resident expert Rich Fisco says sizing up screen technology is step one. Most people can rule out a reader with a color LCD screen. If you're looking for something that can read children's books or magazines, you're much better off going with a tablet. But if you're mainly going to be reading books, e-ink readers with black and white screens are your best bet. These readers are lightweight and easy to read in bright light. In the dark, for most you'll need an add-on light, but you can get an e-ink black and white reader with a built-in light, if that's a priority. There is one e-book reader that uses color e-ink technology, but it's proven disappointing in tests, looking washed out and dull. Next consideration, the size. While most readers have a similar screen size, the weight and thickness can vary. If you're going to be carrying your ebook reader around a lot, you'll want one that's lighter and thinner. How fast a page turns is another consideration. Some ebook readers turn pages faster than others. And while many flash a black screen between every page, there are ones that don't. And how do you want to get from one page to the next? Some let you turn pages by swiping or tapping a touch screen. Others have bars or buttons to push. Best are ebook readers that have both options. And if you want really large type for easy reading, shop carefully for one that enlarges the type to a size you like. Of course, an ebook reader is not much use without any electronic books to read. There are sites like Gutenberg and Feedbooks that offer older public domain books for free. But most people are going to be downloading their books wirelessly. The Kindles have access to the Amazon bookstore, while the Nooks give you access to the Barnes & Noble bookstore. Something else to consider? If someone in your family already has an ebook reader, you might want to get one that's the same kind. That way you can share their library and you don't have to pay for the same book twice. If you're planning on using the public library to borrow ebooks, some ebook readers make it easier than others. And finally, you can pay extra for a reader that has 3G wireless so you can buy books anywhere and everywhere. But for most people, downloading via wireless is just fine. I'm Ann Bertentov for Consumer Reports.